I've never been a diary keeper or a journal writer. I've tried to give it a go on numerous occasions, but it just didn't take with me. However, inspired by my mom's practice, I have kept notes on my paper calendar of things I'd like to remember or keep track of. But you only have that little square box, at least on the kind of wall calendars I had, and so there's just not much room to write. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I solve this problem using my iPad. If you'd like to know how to quickly add a daily note to your calendar, then stick around. This video is for you. Hi, my name is Rich. I try to make a steady stream of easy to follow videos on how to use your iPad and iPhone without going crazy. I also try to make each one of these videos practical. And by practical, I mean, I try to teach you how to do day-to-day -day stuff that just makes sense. If that interests you, or if you find any value in this video, please consider subscribing by tapping the little subscribe button as well as the notification bell. By doing so, you support the making of these videos. And thanks to everyone who has subscribed. So today's video is all about how to quickly add a daily note to your Apple calendar. Now, you know, you can add notes in Apple Notes, and there's a number of ways to sort of crack this nut, but doing it in a calendar sort of helps you keep track of it by date, and I just think that's always handy. And you can do this manually. You can create an event on your calendar, but, you know, that takes a lot of clicks to do, and then you have to repeat it every time you want to add a daily note. But there's a much easier and faster way to do this using the Shortcuts app, and it's not hard to set up. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a separate daily notes calendar, how to create a shortcut to add a daily note and put that shortcut on your home screen so it's easy to get to, how to use the shortcut, and then how to search your notes that you've put in your calendar. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is just how to create a daily notes calendar. Now, you know, when you get your iPad, it comes with a calendar app on it. And you can have multiple calendars uh, and use them for different purposes. I've done a couple videos on calendars. But today, we're going to create a, a calendar just for daily notes. And let me show you how to do that. I'm using the Apple Pencil today. You don't have to use an Apple Pencil to do this. You can just do it with a keyboard if you don't have one. It's just handy to use a pencil. So that's what I'm going to do today. So the first thing you do is tap on the calendar app. And then you tap on the little calendar icon in the top left. And here you can see all of your calendars. I'm going to add a calendar. And I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to pull up my keyboard here. And I'm going to call it Daily Notes. going to click done and now I've got a calendar here called daily notes and all of my daily notes are going to go in that calendar and that's how you create a calendar pretty simple now you could do this manually you could just tap on the little plus up here and give it a new title and a new write your note out and all of that kind of stuff if that's you know how you want to do it but you got to do this every single time well there's an easier way to do that and that is to create a shortcut so so how you do that is you go to the shortcut app this is the little icon for the shortcuts app and I've got a bunch of shortcuts here you may have some you may not but you'll simply um, tap on the little plus at the top to create a brand new shortcut so we're gonna tap on that and then we're going to go over here and we're going to give it a name. I'm going to tap on Rename. And I'm going to call it Daily Note. And then I'm going to click Done. And now I actually have to create the shortcut. So now I go over to here where it says Apps because we're going to use the Calendar app. So we tap on that. We tap on Calendar. And what we want to do is add a new event. So we're just going to tap on Add New Event, and it shows up over here. Now we need to give the new event a title, so we tap on the word title. And I'm going to call that, again, Daily Note. 
And then it asks, when is this event supposed to occur? So I'm gonna tap on tomorrow, and I'm gonna go over here and I'm just gonna use the current date. And that way when I create it, it'll use today's date, the date that I'm actually creating the note. And then I'm gonna go over here and there's a little circle with a arrow in it. I'm gonna tap on that. And I'm going to choose this to be an all-day event because it's just a note that's going in the calendar. Uh, it's not a, an event from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. So I'm going to make it all-day event. And then I'm going to choose the calendar I want. In this case, I'm going to create choose daily notes, which is just what we created. And now I'm going to go up here to the share sheet, the little share sheet icon, which is the square with the arrow in it and I'm going to put add to home screen and it's going to add this little icon to my home screen and I'm going to click add and now you're done that's all there was to creating that shortcut now if we go back to our home screen we'll see the little icon there and now to use it you can tap on it and we've got all day event it's already chosen daily notes and if you scroll down to the bottom you can add the note. So I'll just put uh, plant corn. And I've got my Apple Pencil turned on to where when I handwrite it, it turns into text. But if you don't have an Apple Pencil and you tap in there, your little keyboard will come up and you can tap whatever daily note you want. So I'm going to click Add. And now we'll go back to the calendar tap on it and there's the daily note that I just created and if I tap on it you'll see where it says plant corn and that's all there is to it but here's the thing now you can go back in and let's say that you meant to add a note yesterday and you just didn't get around to doing it and so it's popping up with today's date you can actually tap on that and choose the date. So we'll go back a day and then we'll go down and we'll add our note. I walked Scout, my dog. I'm going to click Add. And then it's added. And again, if we go back to the calendar, you're going to see the daily note there from that day. Now, if we go again, and we're going to add another daily note, and let's say we're going to choose um, April 28th, and we're going to put down Harvest Corn. And now we add that. And now we've got that on there. And if you go back to the calendar again, here's March. And now we're going to just go over here, and there's the April 28th entry. But one good way to follow all of this is to just look at it from a list view. So if you've got your calendar here, you can tap on the little list view. And here you have all of your daily notes. There you can read it that way, like that any way that you want to do it. And if you've got a whole bunch of daily notes and you're just wondering when you need to plant corn or what did you do with corn last year, you can just go up to the search box and type in corn and hit search. And here are the two daily notes that come up, plant corn, harvest corn. So that's how you actually search and find some of your daily notes. Uh, the Apple calendar keeps track of every word that you write and it's indexed, so it's an easy way to find it. So what you've got is just a one-button shortcut that helps you create uh, notes in your calendar, and you can use it for journaling or diary or any way that you want to use it. For me, I use it just to jot down a few notes of things that I want to remember, and it's a super handy way to do it. Whether you like to journal, keep a diary, or just jot down a quick daily note, this is a great way to do it. And by the way, if you have an iPhone, all of your calendar notes will sync up. So now you have all this stuff in your pocket. 
Okay, that's it for today's short video. Even if you're like me and do not keep a journal, I hope you'll give this a shot and see how it works for you. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.